from the Opus Radio News Center. This is an Opus Radio News Update. Good Thursday morning. I'm Al Quartermont with your web news update. It is another change at the Rapids Parish Courthouse. Longtime clerk of court Carolyn Ryland announcing she plans to retire July 31st. Ryland, who will turn 70 this year, has worked in the office since 1975, holding her current elected position since 1991. Ryland will be replaced by her chief deputy, Robin Hooter, for the remainder of her term, which ends June of next year. Earlier this year, longtime assessor Ralph Gill retired after 42 years, being replaced by his chief deputy, Rick Ducote. The current job market will be the focus of the City of Alexandria's latest Project Enable session. It happens tonight at 6 p.m. at the Public Safety Complex on Bolton Avenue. Featured speaker will be Dara Ante. She's the Employer Services Representative for the Rapids Business and Career Solutions Center. I'm going to be talking with people about their resumes and job searching and being well prepared for an interview. Ante says the central Louisiana job market is much stronger than what we're seeing around the rest of the country. You can learn more about it at laworks.net. Again, the Project Enable session starts at 6 at the Public Safety Complex on Bolton, and it is a free event. In state news, Governor Jindal appointing a black doctor from Baton Rouge to the Board of Regents. He's hoping to answer some of the criticism about a lack of diversity on the panel that oversees public higher education. Baton Rouge vascular surgeon Albert Sam replaces Roland Toops. He's a 14-year member who resigned this week under pressure to make room for a minority appointment. Jindal and the Regents Board have been sued by a group of Southern University students who are opposing a study requested by the governor to look at a possible merger between Southern New Orleans campus and the University of New Orleans. The lawsuit claims the region's board is unconstitutional because it appointed members that were all white. Louisiana will divide $30 million in tourism marketing grants from BP among all 64 parishes in the state. The state will use a small slice to help fund Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden's spring tourism advertising campaign. Louisiana received its first $5 million payment of that grant designed to counter negative perception after the Gulf oil spill. New Orleans will get $6 million. The six other hardest hit parishes get $2.2 million each. The rest of the state will see anywhere from $2,500 to $500,000 in grant money. Because the entire grant will be paid over 18 months, the parishes getting the most money will get it in installments. Bizarre story out of Zachary. That's where a southern Louisiana man apparently drove for about six hours with his wife's body before entering a police station saying he killed her. Zachary police say they don't know how the woman died and added the body awaits an autopsy in Terrebonne Parish, about 80 miles away. The man told police his wife died somewhere between 5.30 and 6 yesterday morning in Homa. wasn't until afternoon that he finally arrived in Zachary. The man is being held by police until they can further investigate what exactly happened. In Thursday sports, Jarrett Jack with 21 points hit three big free throws down the stretch, completing an 8-0 run in the last minute 13, lifting the Hornets to a big win over Dallas 93-92. Just going through my normal routine, making sure my knees are bent, getting my elbow under the ball. And even if I didn't make it, I, was, I could have been happy with it because, you know, I just stayed with my normal practice routine. And, you know, I'm a pretty good shooter, so... I thought I had a you know, good shot in. Well, the Hornets, one of their bigger wins of the season. Speaking of big, it'll be a big game down in Lafayette this afternoon. Fairview and Rapids meeting in the Class B semifinal at the boys' top 28 tournament. Rapids defeated Fairview in last year's semifinal. LSU begins play in the Southeastern Conference tournament tonight with a first-round game against Vanderbilt. And the NSU Demons see their season come to an end. Jeremy Hill hitting a game-winning dunk with two seconds left, lifting Texas San Antonio to a 97-96 comeback win over the Demons in the first round of the Southland Conference Tournament. The Demons end their season with an 18-14 and record after coming in as the number two seed in that tournament. We have more news on our Truth 104.3 FM Facebook page. You can always send us your news. Send law news at opusbroadcasting.com. I'm Al Quarterbottom.